Welcome back to AutoCraft. My name's Alex. This is season two, episode 11, and I'm back from vacation. That's right, I'm here in my vacation outfit, my bathing suit, and my tropical shirt, and my little flip flops. I like my little flip flops, they're pretty cool. I got a new skin here, and there'll be a little bit of a, a text pop up on screen of the individual responsible for this awesome skin. I have a few other skins as well. And uh, my wizard suit has actually been, uh, it's, it's in the tailors right now. At the tailors getting fixed up, it looks great. Uh, and we'll be seeing that probably next episode. We're just going to relax in our little uh, vacation outfit for now. Uh, but anyway, we're here. We're back at our condo. We're back from vacation in real life and here in the game. And we're actually going to do things some, do some things today. One of the things is we're going to work on carrots. Um, not really. I mean, sort of. We'll, we need villagers, right? And so we need a villager breeder. And I have villagers nearby that I will definitely be bringing over. And that'll be a fun experience. Can't wait for that. But we have this little area here. Now, this diamond shape on the outside is like your typical uh, villager like farm that like auto feeds into a breeder system or whatever. Um, I want to do a little bit smaller because this is just too wide. Like I want it to be like at least like one or two blocks smaller than the current building. Uh, and I think I'm going to connect them and just have like be a continuation of like the condo system. And I'm not really sure what it'll look like exactly, but... Uh, I do think I'm going to end up with a size about this. Should be enough carrots. And I can always like force feed the villagers myself with my own carrots, which is what I have over here. Been working on that a bit. And I also have some friends in the form of some llamas. Don't mind what the babies are wearing. Um, don't get any ideas about where those guys came from. Uh, but we have a few now. Look, this one grew up a little bit. Now, I was putting um, some new carpets on these and checking out. They're like, oh, I have to, I guess, befriend this one first. Let me, let me befriend this guy. Hey, let me be your friend. Stop it. Why can't I be your friend? And now we're friends. Okay, so I got to get a carpet on this guy, put a chest on him, see what kind of chest size he has. Uh, I think we're working with like six slots right now. And I definitely need to get like nine or 12 because like six just isn't enough. So like six is like, you know, like like a poor man's thing. We need to be rich on llama chest slots. So uh, let me sleep real fast and I'll bring you back. Here we go. And oh, did the wrong thing there. Let's see. Oh, three. Three, three slots, really, bro? Like three? That's You got three slots? I wasn't even going to put a carpet on you, bro. Like, three slots? Come on now. All right, we'll throw a little yellow one on there. We'll have to breed up some more llamas, get some better slots on these chests. But anyway, uh, right here is where we're going to build a villager breeder system. Now, actually, I'm not going to build it. I'm going to have Death Dealer build it. So let's meet up with him, and we'll talk about the new system. So here, Alex, that's uh, that's any sale of llamas you've got there. Yeah, I got a few of them running around now. I'm trying to get a few with some uh, some more chests on them. Like, some of them have three. I need, I need more than three, you know? Oh yeah, I I know the grain. I know what you're you're doing here. So yeah. um, you've summoned me for a project of sorts. Yes. Yeah, so uh, you are well known for doing some villager stuffs. Um, you must have a great attention span. Um, or I don't know. You don't get as angry as me. I think when it comes to villagers. And uh, so I know that you do some villager breeder stuffs, and I'm in need of one of those villager breeder stuffs. Oh, all right. Villagers, yes. I am very patient with them. I've spent a lot of time in my, my many hours of doing this. What are you looking for in terms of breeders? What's your um, so ideal I, thing? I'm not super worried about, like, the rates. So I don't need, like, a, you know, an, an insane amount of villagers. Now, this thing can hold, like, 80, but I, I'm only going to work with, like, 20 or something probably. So if you just want to do, like, a basic, you know, two villager breeder system and, like, we'll just put it, like, on the ground floor here, maybe, like, three blocks away from the main tower. And then I'll worry about building some sort of farm above it that feeds down into it. All right, yeah. So this this stuff here is um oh I I crackled some crops. Um, oh, this as in this is just temporary. Then this part here. Yeah, it's a bit of a layout to kind of explain like the old size or the traditional size for these things, and then the smaller size that I'm going to go with. Because what I could do is I could fit. Uh, the breeder itself is fairly small. Also, watch out, you've got a patrol over there. Oh, um, <laughs> perfect start for a villager. <laughs> I, I know, right? Uh, they're in the ocean there. Um, but what I could do, since this thing is fairly small, is I could put it, like, bang in the middle of this thing. Uh, oh, you're sleeping. Uh, nope, will... nope, no worries. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you said put it in the middle? That actually yeah, would work you, perfect. You'd be, able to, you'd be able to stack the farm on top of it and then do what, what you need to do. Yeah, I'm sure I can make that part work as long as uh, you, you know, get the main setup going. And I'll actually supply the villagers because there's one uh, village nearby that I plan on going to. Oh, perfect. Well, that uh, that saves me a little bit of work. Yeah, and then I'll have to compensate you in some way, form, form or fashion. I'll have to give you something for this because this is, you know, definitely helpful for me. Yeah, Um. in terms of payments, um, 
I, I don't mean to be that guy, but diamonds don't really do it for me. Okay. Uh, and I, I oh, that's a really nice shot you've got there. <laughs> I know for a fact you have access to. We've got access to slime. You've got access to hunting. You've got access to a bunch of books. Yeah. What you think? What if we made a deal for? How would three mending books sound? Ooh, that's Everybody's perfect. That's I can do that easily. I might even bump it to four just because I'm feeling generous. Ah, awesome. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a that's a very good place. <laughs> cool. Well, I look forward to to seeing your work. In the meantime, I'm gonna go wrangle some villagers. I'm sure I'll have a great time. Awesome. Um, I'm planning to get to this uh, almost immediately. So give it like a day and this thing should be up and running. Perfect. Thank you, Death. You're a lifesaver. Awesome. Well, uh, I'll, I'll get to it. I know you've got stuff to do. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, have fun, my guy. Yeah, I'll see you. All right. So now that we've met up with Death, we have a great plan set up to get a villager breeder here. Now we just need two villagers. So I'm going to fly over to a nearby villager uh, village. A village, sure, a village, a village. And I'm going to grab me some villagers and I'm going to bring them on over. And I'm sure this will be a great time uh, of corralling these awesome, incredibly well-designed villager creature things and bringing them over here. It'll be good. So uh, let's just hop into a, a short little time lapse of this, uh, this fun adventure. from oh well over there somewhere these guys uh i actually like their um their outfits it's like one of my favorite villagers they're from like uh was that the acacia savannah i don't remember what it's called uh that one biome over there that has acacia trees and whatnot so these guys are from there uh, i actually love yeah like i said how they look and i'm actually gonna get them inside here because inside is all like lit up and everything more safe or i might put them in this area i kind of cleared up the area here for death dealer to build his thing um, he'll end up doing it like somewhere like in the center of this, which will work out well. And I'll build on top of it for like the automatic feeding or whatever. Who knows exactly what's going to happen. We'll figure it out as we go. But I might put those guys like here and light up the area and fence them off so they can't get away. And that way death can have free access to use them. Uh, I don't want to force him to have to like get these guys out of the boats and up into there because that part's not fun. So we'll worry about that. But what we need to do right now is well, we need to get some materials. Ooh, I forgot that I was wearing... This nice shirt. <laughs> I forgot about that. I actually found out that I'm out of sand in my sand shop. So I probably need to hop over to that desert over there um, and, and mine some sand. So I'm going to mine some sand and then I'm going to pop over to the shopping district. So let's just like speed up time and just end up in the shopping district. Here we are in the wonderful shopping district. Now there is some pretty cool things that have happened since I was gone, looks like the uh, the shop down there, the exchange materials has been swapped out. I'm going to go check that out. But the really cool thing is what's behind that. And that looks like a, um, a bit of a water feature there. We're going to go ahead and fly over and take a look. It looks like, uh, oh, carrot, golden carrots, golden carrot shop. So yeah, this awesome, like it's a fish, I believe, like a koi fish. And it's just like jumping out of the water. Look how cool that is. Very awesome. And then I also noticed... Somebody messed with the bee again. That's a wonky bee. Uh, I don't know if I should change it or let mechanic find it. Maybe I don't know if he's seen it, uh, but I might leave that for mechanic. Let him find it. And let me just go down here now. Now there should be some diamonds throughout here. Yep. A good amount. Let me go ahead and collect so we can count how many and then we'll refill. Collected 35 diamonds from the sand, just the sand. And now if I check over here, I noticed that somebody bought some cactus i assume that's for green dye uh, and that's good nobody's bought dead bushes yet but we are fully stocked here and then we actually have some extra stock in here as well just in case in the future somebody needs it oh looks like we gotta sleep real fast let's do that now what i didn't do a second ago was actually check out what this shop is i believe it is a prismarine shop and they have some sea lanterns and all the other awesome blocks like i'll probably need a good bit of this throughout this season maybe some of that and i believe that shop is selling that as well now so we have a plenty a uh, good amount of that to purchase when we need it and uh we're actually going to go over to the golden carriage shop as well here it is the golden carriage shop now 
It is just a uh, remake of the the best food in Minecraft. Everyone, uh, all the cool kids eat golden carrots. Not oh, okay, Notch. Uh, incredibly tasty, Steve. And golden carrots are my weakness, Harold Brian. Okay, well, boss really outdid himself. What do we got? Uh, one stack for two diamonds. Not bad. Um, let's go ahead and refill because we're getting low. Now I have some in a shulker box, but I'd like to spread the love. Looks like somebody else has bought some as well. So that's good. A random sheep walking around. And then it looks like the shulker shop got moved. Um, buy two rows. Get third free. Um, I forgot how much they cost. How much do they cost? I don't remember what they cost. Ah, does anybody... Who knows what they cost? I'm going to have to look it up in the Discord to see. I don't remember what we paid last time. Was it one for one? I think it was one for one. What do I have? Do I have enough? Oh, math time. All right. If my math is correct, I think... I think it's just one diamond per, which is still an incredible deal. And I just got three stacks of shulkers for 16 diamonds. Uh, that row was free. So I bought two rows, got the third row free. That's what you get when somebody on your server has a uh, incredible farm like Asta does. It is a shulker farm and it makes a ton of shulker shells. So it's incredible. It's awesome. But now that we've done that, ooh, maybe we should check in on the crystals here. Let's see if our Dragon King... Has gotten more. So 28. I'm not sure what he needs uh, for that. Looks like nobody else is collecting the money. Or maybe this one was. Yeah, that was half collected. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Now that we've looked at all the new stuff, I believe we've checked out all the new stuff. There is a magma shop there. I haven't really looked at that. That is brand new as well. Mechanic and Death Dealer working on this. I think it's open for business. Magma blocks. And I wish that was available when Boss and I built our gold farm. Because that would have been super helpful. So, now that we've looked at everything, I believe looked at everything... We're going to go ahead and get on back over to our villagers. Um, well, the start of the villagers. And at this point, I believe death is done with the villager breeder. So we can move on to the next step. The next step is making some babies. We got some baby villagers already, as you can see in this small clip. That's right. We got some baby villagers here. Now, um, I just threw some carrots in at the very beginning. And it uh, looks like we got two baby villagers. I'm going to throw some more carrots in now to get a few more. Now, the way death built this, basically... It's uh, using a mechanic that the baby villagers like to jump on beds. So they're born and they fall down that hole next to that trap door. The trap door. Uh, there's water down below that. And then they go into a little water elevator to end up over here. Now, once they're all grown up and everything, I can then move them to their final locations. Um, and I might actually just end up doing a water elevator that goes all the way up to the top floor to start there. Because I can just have these guys go all the way up and then go inside. But I need to zombify them as well. So I might build something here to do the zombification slash transportation. Maybe another similar tower of sorts. Not really sure exactly. I'll probably figure that out in a minute. Um, but oh yeah, I guess I didn't explain. He, he grew up. He grew up. I didn't explain why the baby villagers um, go into that trap door. It's because they want to jump on these beds and these trap doors. Uh, they feel like they can pathfind through them. So they walk past it, fall down, yada, yada, so on and so forth. So they try to jump on beds. They can't because of the trap doors. Fall down. Pretty genius. Death Dealer is pretty smart with this. And he even centered it up on this pad that I had here. I had a few more blocks around, but I removed those. So Death Dealer did a great job. He did it super fast. And I really appreciate it. I actually got to go drop off payment to him, which I'll probably do that before the end of the episode. Don't let me forget. All right. Don't let me forget to drop off payment. If I forget to do it in the episode, remind me in the comments because uh, if I forget in the episode, then I've forgotten completely. So please uh, remind me. So let me go ahead and throw in some more of these carats. Um, I said that right. Totally said that right. Um, and I probably shouldn't leave these here because if I do, then uh, bad things can walk up here as well. Uh, because I did not spawn proof this entire place yet. Um, it kind of seems like a daunting task. I don't really want to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and feed those guys, punch out some wool, let them do their baby making thing in peace. And I really do like that they're coming out with the same, like, um, like clothing pattern, clothing. I don't know what to call it. They're wearing the same stuff as these guys are. I guess there's a chance or maybe it's hundred percent chance. I'm not sure. I think they can come out as regular villagers. Anyway, uh, we're just dwelling on this, kind of waiting for more babies to come out. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to figure out some sort of build for this area. And you know what? I guess at this point, we'll just... I'm, I'm going to go creative. And I'll come back. And I'm going to build this thing. But it'll be like a split second for you because let's just hop right on into our time lapse.
And there we have it, a brand new build here in our beautiful tropical shopping, not shopping district, industrial district, words. I always mess that up. Uh, industrial district. Yeah. Anyway, this is it. We got a bit of a uh, little pinkish little, I was going for like a coral color, but there's not really a good like a coral pink color. Like even though like the pink terracotta doesn't really look like I wanted it to. Anyway, that's the color I like. This color I went for. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, a little bit of a modern, but like more like a real looking building maybe. I'm not really sure how else to explain it. I do like how it turned out. And I have these light blue panes of glass kind of make it look like um, maybe like some curtains on the inside. So you can't see through because I don't want anyone to see through because, well, that's, you know, that's where zombie stuff's going on and villager breeding and all that good stuff. Am I lagging? What's happening? I'm back after some technical difficulties. Not sure what happened there. Maybe my internet cut out. Not really sure, but uh, another angle of the build here. Now uh, we can continue where we left off. This is obviously a continuation of the whole condo theme type thing going on here. And my only entrance currently is actually around here. I'm gonna go in through the garage area here and then it's just a little hole in the wall. And the operation inside is not great. It's literally random blocks and colors and uh, it's kind of a nightmare, honestly. Um, I do have a little bit of an automatic carrot dropper built in there. So I can just hit a button and it drops some carrots. And I can do that a few times. And then in just a little bit, we should have a baby pop up here. Uh, and I actually have a killing system just in case we need that. Uh, up here is, well, they're getting their jobs and being zombified. Here's a little killing system. Just you never know. You know, you never know when you might need that. So there is that system there. And we're actually going to move these guys to their more permanent location. And you can maybe hear them. There's already some in this building. So if we go up here, we will see we have some cartographers. And these guys are great for exchanging the glass panes for emeralds. And uh, then we have some of these guys. Now, I don't plan on having a lot of these guys here. Like, I like purchasing books from the stores. Um, we just have the basic ones like mending. And we have a silk touch. We might do like unbreaking. Not really sure. Um, but again, I don't want to stock up on a bunch of these. And I do owe death. Was it four? Maybe five books? Uh, we'll make sure to deliver those at some point. Uh, but let's go down here because we have worked on this first floor. You can see some rails and stuff here still. Uh, we have this guy. Now, this guy has quartz. Now, this is a big deal because quartz is a good block to have. And maybe I'll sell it. I'm not really sure because we do get quartz from the gold farm as well or the bartering trading part of the farm. Um, but yeah, this is it. I guess I kind of ran through that kind of quickly. Um, this is how I get the villagers when there's one in there. I just hit that there and it makes its way up. And then I did have the rail going that direction, but we've had some technical difficulties in here as well. But uh, it's all worked out. We've, we've gotten it going on. I'm just going to break this floor here and these guys will fall through. Uh, and then we'll just push them along until we get them on the tracks. Oh, there he goes. That was quick. Uh, I'm not even sure if this guy's going into the right place. He's not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess I got to turn some rails and whatnot. I don't have rails on me. Okay. We were not prepared for this part of the uh, experience. We should be good now. They'll get some rails and turn, turn, turn. And good, good, good to go. Okay. And then we'll just move this like that as well because we have another one on its way. I don't think I have any more of those. Again, not prepared, but we're making it work. And fall down. Ooh, it took a little bit of damage. No big deal. He's a little bit resilient. Not too worried about this guy. You can tell that they did not get the same, like, savanna uh, biome skin thing or whatever. Unfortunate. Uh, but he still looks cool. His monocle, there's two of them. As you can see now, again, don't have that just yet. We will get that. And uh, I think that's going to be it for the villager side of things for now. Um, working with villagers is very frustrating. Like, very, very, very frustrating. And, like, zombies and, like, just making sure they don't burn in the sun when you're transporting them. A lot of issues. I had a lot of issues, as I usually do. I always like feel like I think of everything, and then I don't. So it's like meh, kind of annoying. Uh, and then villagers not getting you know their jobs picked up quickly. And then with the librarians, you got to swap out their blocks and yada yada. And then zombify them, and uh, it's not great, but it's worked out. You know, I haven't had a, a complete breakdown just yet. So not not too terrible, not too great. Uh, but let me know if you like that time lapse, and of course like the video. We're not done yet though. Uh, we're definitely going to go. On to the shopping district. Uh, shopping district, we have to go back there and um, drop off, at the very least, drop off our payment to death. And then I might do a little bit of a purchase, a little bit of a shopping spree. So we'll go over there and uh, we'll check that out. I have some really bad news. I died. Um, I was about to leave and and, and zombies and, um, well, I, I lost everything, including my wizard staff. Now there's a wizard down there 
that has my wizard staff. So, so inside that building is at least two zombies, one of which has my wizard staff, and I think the other one's holding my bow, which I didn't know zombies could do. And I don't, I don't know if I have any weapons. Oh, here we go. It got some weapons and, and maybe some armor. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Sweeping edge. Uh, um, um, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just use that one. Okay, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Armor, protection four. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, leggings. All right, we're doing good. Um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, we'll put that on. We'll have the sword. Um, I have a rocket and elytra, which I had in here, which is good. Um, so we're good there. Now we just need to go fight the bad guys. I'm worried. Um, I'm gonna get some stuff out of here. Like, um, let's see, some some dirt, some moss blocks. Sure. Okay. Uh, that way I can like place blocks and fight the zombies. Okay. Here we go. We have no health. Um, I actually I might have carrots, but I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of time if I don't just go in there and fight these things. So. Ow. Oh, well, now I really have to. <laughs> I don't have any feather falling. You can see there's a bunch of stuff here. It was nighttime and bad guys attacked. Now I have bones in my inventory. Um, oh, boots. Okay. Um, sure. Protection for. Yep. Sure. Frostwalk. Wait, that doesn't go there. That goes there. I'm so nervous. I don't want to die. Where's my carrots? Which one? Are my carrots in here? Oh, they are in here. Okay. We're good. Okay. We're, we're really good. Let's grab a few of these and we're going to go fight the zombies and hopefully. <laughs> I'll die. Um, this is going to be kind of terrifying because I don't have a bow. Can't stay back. I got to get up and close and uh, fight these guys. So let's just uh, let's run inside real quick. All right. On my way in, I heard a lot of zombies moving. Oh, there's one with a squid head and a bow. Okay, he's not very powerful. Not worried about this guy. And the rails are messing him up. Okay, got that stuff back. All of this stuff. Uh, don't worry about that one. <laughs> then we get to find the other zombie. I hear more zombies. So I have a feeling that that guy got in here. Oh no, I hear a lot of zombie noises. I hear a lot of zombie noises. No, where, oh, he's here. Is he here? No, that guy has boots. Where's, where is this guy? No, where is he? I need him to, I, he's got my stuff. He, oh, I don't, I have my wings on. I put the armor plate on, the armor chest plate. This is terrible. This is terrible. I don't know where he is. What do I do? What do I do? Mr. Zombie. Mr. Zombie. Oh, I found him. Look at him. Get off the ledge. Get out of here. Feather falling is that strong? Okay, I'm falling, falling suit. Parkour. Parkour. Yeah. He's so strong. Got it. Let's go. Now I'm the wizard now. Give me that back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the wizard now. Okay. Whew. Oh, let's get that back on. Let's just go ahead and put my lighter on. I had 40 something levels and now I have seven. Oh, that was terrifying. Okay. I did definitely need to like finish mob proofing this whole island because that did not go well. That was terrifying. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're safe again. We're going to teleport over to the shopping district right now. And just like that, we're in the shopping district. Super easy. Now Splash has actually messaged me in the discord and said um, that the, some string was needed. So I'm here with Splashes and I have string so i'm just gonna drop two stacks and i might as well just enchant thy splashes because i'm a wizard and i can just do that sort of thing right cool all right so we're over here by the bookshop because we're gonna get some mending books and let me just say you're welcome to splashes cool, cool and the mending and i have some diamonds here i think that was me turning in some vouchers previously so one two three four and five uh how do i do this there we go uh four diamonds each Good to go. I got five books. Now I'm going to make a, um, whatchamacallit chest. A whatchamacallit chest? Um, a shulker box. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to make a shulker box real fast. Uh, I need some wood. So we'll just go buy some wood real fast as well. Um, maybe two diamonds. I don't even remember what the prices are. To be honest, but let's go over here. To the wood shop. Zame's wood shop here. And we're going to go ahead and grab, oh, what is happening here? Oh my goodness. Uh, two diamonds per stack. Okay, so spruce. Sure, we have this uh, to do the thing with the, yep, that. Uh-huh, yep, and then the chest. Yep, we're good at this. We're Minecrafting. Minecrafting, perfect. Okay, now uh, Death Dealer has a sweet little hobbit hole over here. I don't think I've ever seen it. Just beyond this hill, I believe. Oh, ooh, yes, look at this. So he's done some pathing, some ponds and whatnot. I don't think I'm spoiling anything. I hope not. And over here is a mailbox. So I was actually going to put it inside of a... 
I'll still put in a shoulder. Free shoulder is not bad, even though we have unlimited shoulders at this point. Uh, and we'll do some like fancy separating of stuff. There we go. Cool. And he'll know what it's for. No need to put a note. He'll know exactly what that's for. And uh, I'm sure he'll watch. He'll probably watch this video and see it. So we're good to go. Uh, one last thing I got to do is, well, I got to change back into my wizard robe. So let me just do that real fast. And just like that, we are back in our wizard robes. Now I want a, a shout out to Zombini on Twitter. You can see the link here or the, uh, the at there at the bottom of the screen. Zombini is an incredible uh, skin designer. So I got this awesome wizard robe thing going on. Absolutely love it. You can see my little hood, my, my little wizard robe. It's so cool. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. I love it. Okay. So let me put this stuff back on. And uh, yeah, so we're back in our old wizard skin. Good to go. Flying away. Looking awesome. Well, anyway, that's where we're going to leave you today. We uh, we died to zombies. And uh, we had fun with villagers. Fun. I'm going to use that term very loosely. And <laughs> it was a good time. It was a good time uh, doing all that good stuff. Hope you guys like my tropical area. I think in the next episode, we'll be back in our little um, magical forest area. Our main base area. And I think we might work with Boss on a, uh, a new shop here in the shop district. So stay tuned for that. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the good YouTube stuff. I really appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.